Hi, my name is Steve Maher. I'm the ergonomics guy. And I work with a lot of people that are starting from scratch and they need to build out their entire office. And one of the questions they have is what desk should I choose and can I get it on Amazon? And the answer is yes, you can get it on Amazon, but you need to think about a few things before you purchase it. And that's what I'd like to do is just talk to you about some basic guidelines for how to choose a desk and then show you what I found on Amazon that might make it a little bit easier for you. So this is the Amazon site. Uh, I just typed in office desk. And the first thing that comes up is a pen holder, which is not actually a desk. But if we scroll down a little bit, uh, what you're gonna see are just sort of standard press board uh, desks that, that you can get on Amazon. They even have glass desks that you can get. And so they have all these different things, but there's a few things that you should think about before purchasing a desk. So the first thing you need to think about is, um, how big a space do you need? Do you need a really wide desk or do you need a shorter desk? How much space do you have? Do you need an I-shaped desk like this or do you need an L-shaped desk like this? You know, how are you going to be working? How much space are you going to be? How much space are you going to need? Most desks are 30 inches high, so from the surface to the floor is 30 inches. Uh, most elbows are actually 27 inches, which is down about here. So there's usually a bit of a disconnect. So are you going to get a taller chair so you can sit higher and use the desk surface? Or are you going to get a keyboard tray? If you are going to get a keyboard tray, it's not going to work on a glass desk. This, this has one that's built in. Uh, the problem is, and you can actually see it if you look closely, there's no room for the mouse on the keyboard tray. So here's your keyboard tray. Here's your mouse up there, so you're always going to be reaching up, so you can't mount a real functional keyboard tray on there. So something to think about before you purchase a cool-looking glass desk uh, is that it might not fit. The other things that you want to think about is how deep is the desk, okay? They usually come in 24 or 30-inch depths, and that's going to make a difference depending on the size of your monitor right there. So if you have two big monitors and you have a 24 inch desk, you're going to feel like you're in the front row of the theater. If you have a smaller monitor, uh, you can sit, you can work with a 24 inch desk. Um, typically 30 is better. It just gives you more space to work with. OK, um, then you need to think about whether you want uh, a fixed height desk or do you want an adjustable height desk? So. There, the consideration is, do you want an electric height desk or do you want a manual crank desk? So there's all these different factors to think about. And if you look on this website, you can find just about anything you want, right? The question is, you know, what really is, is going to work and what's quality and what isn't? And, and so what I've done is I've taken the guesswork out of this for you. If we go to my website, and I'll put the link down below, I've come up with an ergonomics product tab and we can come down here to desks. And what I've done is I've made a video that's a little more uh, informative on how to choose a desk, what you should be looking for. And then I went through the Amazon website and I found desks that I typically recommend to my clients on Amazon and put them on the site. So there's two different things that you can do here. You can either uh, get an adjustable height desk, these top ones. I think there's a crank one or an electric one. The other thing that you can do is you can retrofit the surface that you already have by just changing out the legs down here. So they have different leg configurations for an I-shaped desk or an L-shaped desk. And you can make those wider or narrower to fit the work surface you already have. And then you simply put your surface on top of it and you're good to go. So uh, I think these are good choices. These are things that I'm currently recommending to my clients. Uh, if you have any questions about how to set up your workstation or which of these products would be the best for you, please contact me. We can set up a remote assessment and we can look at your workstation. You can send in some pictures and we can talk about what products will work best for you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and uh, I hope that helped. Thank you very much.